What's going on, fellow aviators? So I have no idea why I only thought of this now, but I'm going to show you how to manually install aircraft mods to DCS. So, uh, like your Flaming Cliffs mods, your, um, your free standalone mods, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so, you found the mod you want. Which in this case, we're using the A4 for reference. Which you do by, what you get by doing what I just did. I already downloaded it. But, I mean, you should know how to download things, right? I know. I'm going to unzip it. Now, with the A4... When you uh, oh, unzip it, it already has the mod mods folder there. But most of them are not going to. To get to where you need to go, you open your file explorer. Uh, you go to your local disk. Users. Your name. Whatever user you're signed into your computer as. Find saved games. If you're on stable, uh, it'll just say DT DCS. But if you are on stable, you need a different version of A4. But that's a whole other different thing. Go to your DCS open beta. Find mods. If mods doesn't exist, just create a folder that says mods. But, I mean, it should be there. I don't know why it won't. Same thing in here. If it doesn't exist, create it. We're looking for aircraft. And that's where all your mod your aircraft mods are going to go. Right? Uh, but with the, the A4 file, all you'd have to do is just... You wouldn't even have to create the mods folder. You could just drag it from here into your open beta folder and be good to go yeah and that's all there is to it but most of them are just gonna when you unzip them it might say aircraft or it might just uh say the name of it like that and then you would just drag that into the aircraft folder it's really that simple. It's the same way if you're downloading like uh, Masson, was it Masson 93, 92? Um, if you're downloading like an assets mod and it tells you to put it in tech, that's where tech is. So there you go. It's really that simple. Hopefully that helps and uh, next uh, next one I'll show you how to use uh, OV GME it's uh it does it handles all that for you all you have to do is click a button but yeah hopefully that helped and I will see ya